In this visit, I'll discuss metabolic acidosis. Acid-base balance refers to the body's system for maintaining normal hydrogen ion concentration. Normal hydrogen ion concentration is maintained by chemical buffers in the body, by the lungs, which regulate the amount of carbon dioxide in the blood, and by the kidneys, which regulate the bicarbonate in the blood. pH is the measurement used to express the hydrogen ion concentration. The normal body pH is between 7.35 and 7.45. In acidosis, the pH is lower than 7.35. There are two types of acidosis. Metabolic acidosis, in which there is a low serum bicarbonate, a metabolic problem, and respiratory acidosis, in which there is a high carbon dioxide concentration. A breathing problem. Each type of acidosis has a number of causes. In alkalosis, the pH is higher than 7.45. There are two types of alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis, in which there is a high serum bicarbonate, a metabolic problem, and respiratory alkalosis, in which there is a low a concentration of carbon dioxide, a breathing problem. And each type of alkalosis has a number of causes. The anion gap is a calculation used to determine the cause of a metabolic acidosis. It's defined as the sodium concentration minus the sum of the chloride and bicarbonate concentrations. The newer measurement devices generate a normal value of perhaps 5 to 7 milliequivalents per liter. This is a list of common causes of increased anion gap metabolic acidosis. The normal anion gap metabolic acidosis has different causes. When metabolic acidosis is suspected, we perform tests on blood drawn from an artery and from blood drawn from a vein. We examine the urine and we make calculations. To diagnose metabolic acidosis, we go through four steps. First, we look at the pH. If the pH is lower than 7.35, then we have an acidosis, either metabolic or respiratory. Second, we look at the bicarbonate. If the bicarbonate is lower than 20 milliequivalents per liter, then we have a metabolic acidosis. Third, we calculate the anion gap to help classify the metabolic acidosis. And fourth, we look at the patient's history and physical to see if it fits the diagnosis of metabolic acidosis. Now let's go through a case of metabolic acidosis. A 24-year-old woman comes into the emergency department with a very rapid heartbeat, low normal blood pressure, and very rapid breathing. The laboratory studies are as noted on the slide. Let's go through this and see what the diagnosis is. First, we note the pH is 7.30, which is below the normal of 7.35. Therefore, the patient has an acidosis, either metabolic or respiratory. Second, the bicarb is 6, which is much lower than the lower limit of normal of 20 milligrams milliequivalents per liter. So, the patient has a metabolic acidosis. Third, we calculate the anion gap, which is 20. So, she has an increased anion gap metabolic acidosis. The patient's history and physical and laboratory tests suggest lactic acidosis. Here's why. She has an increased anion gap metabolic acidosis. Now the most common cause of this is diabetic ketoacidosis, but the patient's serum and urine ketones were found to be negative and her blood sugar was normal. Kidney failure is the second most common cause of an increased anion gap metabolic acidosis. 
her serum creatinine was normal. The third most common cause is drug ingestion, such as methanol or ethylene glycol. Her history was negative for drug ingestion, and an osmolar gap calculation did not suggest this problem. So lactic, so lactic acidosis is a common problem and should always be considered when the first three possibilities are unlikely. Her serum lactate was found to be elevated, and her clinical information is consistent with lactic acidosis. Lactic acidosis can be caused by a low oxygen level in the blood. It can be caused by low, meaning inadequate, blood flow in the body, as occurs in septic shock or cardiogenic shock or hemorrhagic shock. Lactic acidosis can be caused by carbon monoxide poisoning or by cyanide poisoning. In this case, the data given so far does not allow us to pick a cause and further studies are needed. In a 24-year-old lady who has no known health problems, hemorrhagic shock from internal bleeding or septic shock from infection are likely causes of her metabolic acidosis. Well, that's it for this visit. Thank you for watching and I hope you found it useful.